Welcome to Gravenhurst, Ontario, gateway to Muskoka, home to 1,600 lakes, 2 million visitors a year, and the oldest operating steamship in North America, the Royal Mail ship Seguin, built in 1887. If that ship was a person, it would be in the Senate. And here we are standing on the deck. The fly deck. The fly deck of the Seguin, and I'm now joined by Blair McMurchie. Hello, Blair, how are you? Good. Sir, what is your title here, sir? I'm the president of the Muskoka Steamship and Historical Society. Very good, and you guys operate this fine steamship. We do, we operate it for everyone to enjoy. Now, it's a mail ship? It's the Royal Mail Ship. What does that mean? It means that we can transport uh, Canada Post mail, and we can cancel the stamps when people put it in our mailbox. We have one on this ship. You're an actual mailbox. We are. And that's unique. It is very unique. We believe we are one of the last Royal Mail ships in the world. So it was actually launched in 1887. 1887, and it was constructed in Gravenhurst Bay. Yes, and we have archival footage of that, hosted by a young Lloyd Robertson. <laughs> I'm joined by Austin McMurchie. Hello, Austin, how are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Now, you, you sent me an email and a letter inviting me out on the ship. Yes. Well, thank you very much. Were you glad we showed up? Yes. <laughs> now, your father is the president of the society, mm -hmm. and he got involved because of you? Yes. Because you got into steamships? Yes. And you made him go? Yeah. And now he's the president? Yes. That's pretty good. <laughs> What brought you out on the ship? Well, we're here for my grandpa. He's uh, turning 80 years old. What's your name? Uh, Bill. Hey, Bill, nice to meet you. I'm Rick. Grandpa, otherwise known as Grandpa. You're the grandfather. Yeah, that's right. I didn't realize I was interrupting some sort of family birthday party here. Well, you're not. I think uh, they've told me that you're the, this is the act. Oh, this is it. You're... Oh, no, I was brought here for you, sir. I'll be dancing later. I'll be doing 20 minutes after the cake. And here we are in the wheelhouse with Captain Caldwell. Hello, Captain, how are you, sir? Good. Okay, so what do we have? We got a wheel. That's right. And we have a compass. Magnetic compass. And what's this thing? That's the ship's telegraph. That's to communicate with the engine room. That's how you tell them to slow down or go faster. That's right. So this is the way you communicate with the, with the captain. That's the way I communicate and with the captain. And it's on these chains, like bicycle chains. Now, I know what this is here. This is a, uh, a cappuccino maker. That's an oiler. That's an oiler. That's not a cappuccino maker. Now, is this the engine room down here? This is the lower engine room down here. Can you show me that? Yes, I can. All righty. You suck the water in from the lake. Put the coal the, the coal is firing a furnace. Mm -hmm. The water is turned into steam. The steam fires the pistons, and the engine works. And the engine works, that's right. It's like Willy Wonka and the chocolate factory. Like, just look at this thing. That's what it is, yeah, like that. Now, what's the, probably the hardest job on the ship? Well, on this one here is Stoker, the guy who puts the coal in. That's the hardest job on the ship. So this is the boiler room? This is the boiler room. This is where it all starts. Oh, oh, oh. How's that? Not too bad, but throw her a little harder. That's as hard as I can throw, Bill. Ah, show business. This was actually my first job at the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation headquarters. <laughs> Now, could I drive? Yeah. That's good, because I think the Canadian public would like to see someone unqualified at the wheel. Where do you pop the trunk? How old is this boat? 121 years old. Has the Navy put in an offer on it? Not yet. We could be fighting terrorism in this thing. Could be. Can I blow the horn? Go ahead. Just pull it. Was that good? Well, you could give her a little more. That's good. Okay, we gotta have steam to get we gotta have steam. We gotta have steam to get back. Oh that uses steam. Turn to the left. How was that? Good. So Austin, how old were you when you became fascinated with this ship? Uh, four. Four. And this, this ship delivers mail? Yes. So what is it about the mail that fascinates you? It's not you? just the mail, you can do other stuff too. Like what? 
wakeboarding, Muskoka style, old school, circa 1800, steam powered.